My name is Ken Apple. I'm the maintenance manager for Colette Air. I deal with everything from production to personnel problems, parts problems. I pretty much deal with everything that goes on at this facility. Uh, when I got out of high school, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I joined the Air Force. I figured I'd stay in there for about four years and figure it out. And I ended up staying 20 years and started working on airplanes. And after I got out, I continued working on airplanes. So I've been doing this for about 40 years now. We have a variety of different uh, career paths here as far as mechanics go. We have some that come right off the street out of high school and we teach them everything they know about it. We have a lot of people that have joined um, us after being in the military. There are a lot of people that have also gone through technical schools like MIT or other um, airframe power plant courses in order to get trained in it. This is a, it's a rather hard field. Uh, the only thing that really limits you is yourself. Um, you can go as far in this business as you want to. Right now we've got people that have started here as parts runners and they're currently supervisors and managers. So it, you can go as far as you want to go essentially. Some of the skills you have to be able to um, essentially envision what you're doing, be able to think several steps ahead. You have to be mechanically inclined. If you're not mechanically inclined, this isn't the job for you. It's something different for everybody. Okay, Myself, I enjoy building things, so it's always come naturally to me to work on airplanes. Um, some people just like the idea of airplanes. It's Everybody has their own little... Um, what they take from it, I guess. I suppose the biggest thing is um, you just have to have the desire to do it. If you don't want to give 100% every day and come to work every day, there's really no sense even getting started with it because it's a very demanding job, it really is. I think the favorite part of my job is probably dealing with the people that I around every day. Um, when it gets to the point where I don't enjoy coming to work and seeing them anymore, I think it's time to retire after that.